welcome to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. My name is Kam Rio. welcome to my channel. I'm going to be taking a look at CD Projekt Red's newest game. This game is a loosely based off of the card game Gwent from the Witcher series. I have already played The Witcher 2 and The Witcher 3, and I really enjoyed them, but I wasn't that great at Gwent in The Witcher 3, so I wasn't thinking I was going to pick up this game, but then I actually saw what it was in game, the art style, the story, stuff like that, the reviews were really good, so I decided I'd give it a chance, and you will be here watching as I start playing for the first time. Let's see how it goes. Okay, select difficulty. Adventurer, for players who want to sit back, relax, and enjoy the story with the option to skip battles. I don't really want to skip battles, but I'm Battle Hardened, for players seeking a moderate challenge and an impactful story. And Bone Breaker, for players familiar with Gwent and ready to put their skills to the test. I think we're gonna go with the middle road on this. I... Maybe... I don't know if you can change difficulties during that. If so, I would probably change down if things are too hard, but we'll start out on, start out on Battle Hardened. 1267. War hung in the air, its scent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaruga. So nothing's the changed. Threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances. And then, in good spirits, dispersed. And do Among nothing. Them, Neve, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ah. As the queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Neve's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Okay, so we get our first glimpse in here. So Caldwell is the person on the right, and our main character, Queen Neve, is here. And then there's someone to our left. Looks like we really like the color yellow in the kingdom. Let's see what we, what we got next. Hail, Your Majesty! Delighted to see you in good health! The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope? Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. Probably little. The strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during your grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Mm, the strays of Spala. I'm not sure. That, it seems like an alright name for a bandit group. I don't know. Does it really strike that much fear in the hearts of the, the people? But eh, I guess you could do that with a sword just as well. Okay, so we got Disappointing and we got Settle Down Caldwell. So I know there's a lot of choices and apparently meaningful choices. We'll see just how meaningful as we get through. So, it's it's all right, Caldwell. And let's settle down. Steady, Caldwell. Come now. Deep breath. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm. Yes. And very little time. But there's there's not much that... It didn't talk about Willem making any decisions there. It was all about Caldwell. Willem seems too young, although we haven't seen him yet, so... Welcome to the Thronebreaker tutorial. Before embarking on your adventure, you should get acquainted with basic game mechanics. That That's pretty good advice in there. Controlled character using that. Follow the cobblestone road to reach the next stage of your journey. Follow the cobblestone road. Follow the cobblestone road. Follow, 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 follow the cobblestone road. Okay. Game. You got resources. Gold, wood, 
and recruits. I wonder what wood's going to be for. Do we have base building in this? I guess that would make sense. While on the road, you can find useful items and even new companions who will support you in battle. If you don't want to miss anything, be sure to thoroughly explore the map and complete side quests. That's usually a good idea. Oh. An obstacle blocks your path! To remove it, you will need to spend some of your resources. Uh, can, can I just jump it? I feel like I could, could just jump it. Where's the jump button? Space doesn't work. I have no idea how to jump! <laughs> Attack! Okay, so we got this picture of the bandits. Kinda looks like a pig. Let's start our first battle. Now I know that it's based off of Gwent, but they've changed it up significantly for the game, so I can't rely too much on my knowledge of the previous game. Well, they're going first. Have a storm, knock out one of your teeth. To attack the queen? An outrage! Alright, strength of each unit you play adds to your army's total strength. Yep, we know. Most strength points, yep. Some units have armor. Okay, armor absorbs a certain amount of damage dealt to the unit. Your Grace, the men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Do, do, do ability. Select a card and read its short description. Okay. Play any card. Okay, so we got the Lyrian Arbalist. Damage an enemy by the number of cards on this row, including self. Reach two, so this is a ranged one. Lyrian Scytheman, boosts self by five. And then Count Caldwell, play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. I'm gonna deploy the Lyrian Scytheman here. This artist. Salt of the earth they are, your grace. They follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. I'd prefer not to put them into fire. That might temper their usefulness. Well. <laughs> the strays took ten and run. <laughs> yes, our victory is assured. <laughs> Sound the horns. May they sing praises of this triumph for ages. I doubt it. It's a rather minor battle. We're going to... Uh, okay. Okay, so we'll go first with... A time to reap, a time one. to sow. There. A time to and see what they have to throw out. Bigger they are, easier they are to suck. Okay. Taking some damage. Let's... Let's bring the Arbalists out. Oh, the range is too... Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um, so I'll do that, and I'll also use Meave's ability to put some armor on him and get these two going up a little bit. The chase is on! Okay. And then we play our Lyrian Arbalist right here. Arbalist in your command. And take out the armor. Okay. Pass. I doubt they can make up the difference with one card. I am the battle's victor. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandits stood not a chance. No, no, they didn't. I'm pretty sure because it's scripted that I have to win this. Ah, <laughs> uh, I do adore this prospect. Yes, Lyria, the pearl of the north. With its hills and dales, why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three Smooth, weeks in the saddle, Caldwell. <laughs> I've my doubts. <laughs> okay, so we do have a bit of base building. That's why we have the wood. Can be improved in your workshop. So this is the workshop. Get check it. You'll definitely need access to a regional map, but to get it, you will first need to improve your royal tent. Upgrade the royal tent to level 2. Oh, that's expensive, though. 
Well, we're gonna do it anyway. Go to the command tent. I'm assuming this is the command tent. It, it, this, the middle one. No? Oh, no, it's this one. That's probably Meave's personal tent. That makes more sense. Nice recruit. Oh, I get better. Add it to the deck. And we're good. Let's hear from Reynard. A bit Reynard. of respite, Reynard. Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. At ease. <laughs> you, you seem eager to please. <laughs> Villain is not suited to be king. It's not wearisome sitting alone. I think we'll go with Don't that Don't you find one. it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even? Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. Well, I get that. I'm a fairly solitary person myself. But still, companionship can be good. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Trust none of them, Meave. Save Reynard. The old sod was right about that, at least. I feel like that... I, I'm not sure on this. I feel like Raynard might then be a traitor. I, uh, <laughs> I know I know there's backstabbing and all that in this, and if, if the game tells me to trust a particular person, I'm going to be a bit hesitant on that. I thank you for sharing that tale, Raynard. Truly. Let's see here. we got our current location. We can buy scouts and that. Your primary task. Where's, ooh, all the way over here. That that's a fairly long walk here. Ooh, that God's is not mercy. good. Whatever is this filth? Necrophages. Yep. <laughs> Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm, I won't allow it. Attack! Yep. Look at that strength. Twenty-six. You can take on an army single-handedly. Fierce and they look true, but they bleed just as we do. Onward, slay the filth! We shall. And our Lyrian Arbalist will be part of that. I'm a monster. Okay, and now pass, because we have ah, won the first so match. So fortunate we routed the beast before they had a chance to gorge. They fill their bellies, ma. This doesn't bode well. Oh no, not well at all. Now well, we can still do some damage here. Take out the armor on there and turn. Owls. Strong as steers they've grown, Ooh. and they show no fear. Frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive. Feel no pain, whatever. Witness this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground. Fall back. We can't win. Must minimize our losses. Wait, what? Wait. Seriously? Oh. Oh, man. That is not good. That. Okay, we can't win. That is correct. My Queen, there is no shame in seeding the field when fortunes turn sour. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Best to pass your turn and save your strength for the next round. You can pass only at the beginning of your turn. Okay, so we will pass to live another day. But that man, that they got a lot of power that round. So, it comes down to the final round, which I'm assuming we will win. Ooh. Reynard Odo. We are going to bring out an arm list again. Wackenberg's ability. Okay, so order. Get, that. Get one in there. And let's boost that up. Another owl. Also powerful. Allows you to reactivate the units on it, whose order ability has already been used. Okay. That that was my plan then. Company! Anyway. Forward march! And then... Take them out. 
it. I'm gonna play out my glorious trap. And take out that one. And then pass. The beasts hadn't a chance against us. Victory is ours. No, no, they didn't, because it's scripted. <laughs> Our emblem, a black eagle. Oop. Couldn't hear anything else there. How do I get wood from that thing of meat? Sense making this does not. They call themselves strays? Well, we'll treat them like strays. We build a bridge, brick by brick. A one, a two, the pillar grows thick. I do like when NPCs have more than just little things, little things that they say just once there, but so they, they're they doing a good job making the world feel more alive there. So let's keep exploring Hawksburn. Lady, the masks they wear, have you seen them? Yep, they I have. snouts, horns. Like a right proper nightmare. Your Majesty, I beg of you, thrash them bandits. Please. Scared to step out into me own fields, I am. I certainly will. I shall thrash them something good. Ooh, ten. Ten recruits there. And here we Soon, go. Queen and retinue arrived at Hawksburn. The men stationed there they found standing at attention, baking under the blistering noonday sun. Your Majesty, Count Caldwell. Stand at ease, Sergeant, and report. The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. Expect they might have lent the bandits aid. Yet our courtesy ain't inspired them. They haven't peeped a word. Might it please Your Grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose for them, should have them jabbering right quick. Ooh, this is not I'll speak good. to them first. Yeah. Your Majesty, for the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. These times are not proper, Caldwell. Whom for? I shan't be stripped of crown and titles for it, so no impediment do I see. Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign, Her Majesty, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Have mercy, Your Grace. We bear no guilt, we simple folk. Okay, so. This seems like a choice of consequence. What kind of queen do we want to be? A harsh one? Or an empathetic one? I think we're going to go with empathy. I think they're jumping to conclusions here. Calm your hearts, good folk. Though your queen I may be, you are subjects, not slaves. Meave extended a hand. The royal ring gleaming upon it. Unfamiliar with protocol, the player gripped it firmly and gave it a shake as hearty as a good scrub in the tub. That is, that's funny. Why? We shall be addressing one another by name before long. <laughs> this is an outrage. Guards, grab him. No, Caldwell. I've all in hand, Caldwell. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm not accustomed, no how. Nonsense. You've a firm grip. A spry handshake and a bold spirit I can respect. What do they call you, man? Helma. Son of Florence. You see, we're gonna get into his good graces, figure out what's going on here. It's all planned out. Meave, Meave's got this. Meave's got this. Delighted, Helma. Now understand me, man. I am in dire straits and in need of your aid. So please, answer my queries in full and forthrightly. The bandits. Whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. Yeah, that makes sense. My, the strays. A blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? That recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Clayton. Lord, Lord Clayton. Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Your Grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? Ah, here we go. Some will be felt. Okay. Uh, mm, let's leave. Them leave be. them be. The harvest draws close. Hard work. They'll have their hands full. Oh, my lady, 
Thanks be to you. Thanks be. I pray Mother Melitene watch over your kind heart. Mother Melitene. Ah, that's not one I've heard Pray before. she watches over yours. Should I hear of you sheltering bandits again, of you lying to my officers, I shall I return and put torch to every there. hut, field, and orchard. Understood. Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mouth knocking the peasants aside as it kicked up a cloud of dust. That's rude. The of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. Take use of this, but we got a question mark here. This might be a quest. Up oh, to your subjects, humbly request aid. Yarplek and Wilmer. Here's a wagon's axle snapped, and they need to hurry to market. Some of the camp overseers. A few pieces of gold should suffice. Right on. Let's summon the camp overseers. Take care of that. And we shall return to camp for, for a little time. Workshop. Camp structure requirements it's not meant. Don't have the gold with that. Or we got the wood, though. The workshop. Need more wood there. Need... Well, I need this before I can get that. I hadn't heard of puzzles in the game, so that should be a bit interesting. Got more loot here. Got stuck on a fence. This is very, very Witcher-like. Apparently. Oh, there's the puzzle. That rumble. What is it? Look out! Rock slide! What's this? Rainer leapt for beeve. So we got a puzzle, special rules, shortened battle, will last only one round. Okay, so there's a battle with this. We're fighting a rock slide. <laughs> that is not something I thought I'd say today. So, let's take it down. It'll last only one round. Sense. Our strength alone is not enough to win. We have specific goals, so we have to destroy all boulders before they reach Meave's Royal. Okay. The bluff crumbles! Fall back! Save yourselves! Your Grace, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward! Okay. On the melee row. What now? Okay. Uh, I can't, uh, I can't have my leader do anything here. You're far fewer than I presumed! Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop, chop! Before I reach for my whip! I like you, Caldwell. You're too eager to whip and do stuff. Yeah. I'm a wrong set. Closest to me. Yeah. One boulder down. But this one. Won't do enough to damage the boulder on its own. One really? Oh. The wagon. Use the wagon now! Okay. Now we got you. Let's do that. Okay. <sighs> So that is We've a bit of a Raymond. puzzle, but I thank obviously you. Not, not a particularly complex one, but that, that's very enjoyable. I'm looking forward to doing more of those ones where I really have to think in a different way to accomplish the task. The walls of the temple collapsed. The buttress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's nothing we can do here. We ride on. A peasant cart, loaded with a heap of hay, came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man, gripped by fever. 
A thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his mm. bandaged legs. That's Gump. not good. Who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, nee, milady, replied the cartman. Tour a beast. Ooh, this is the side quest, isn't Out it? Out to the east, down Wetterton Way, lies a boneyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Cretum was setting snares round about there. Came running back to us, drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. We've taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on bridge. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can. And will. Replied the queen, though just looking at the wounded wretch. She knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. The queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, your grace? Caldwell asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton... Perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Fate. Grace, or we've only the player. We've beasts and scarcely escape with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formula. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice. The Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. The main part of the tutorial. Okay. So from now on, you're on your own. We've got... A bunch of stuff that we can do. So that concludes the tutorial. It It's a fun game, it seems like. We've got puzzle battles, we got regular battles, we got this beautiful over map, we got nice music, good writing. This is, from what I've seen so far, a solid Witcher game, and that that has meant quality for the last Oh, how many years has it been since The Witcher 1? I don't know. But it's been that for a while. I have really good first impression here on this game. And I'm looking forward to playing more of it in the coming days. But for now, though, I will be signing off. I hope you enjoyed the video, and happy gaming.